Hi there, we've just returned from a week on board the Morella Explorer 2 and I'm going to give you a quick guided tour of everything on board the ship. So sit back and I hope you enjoy it. So it's very windy, I don't know how much you're going to pick that up, probably quite a lot. But this is the Mini Golf. Right on the back of the ship, this is a very um, quiet sunbathing area. Uh, it's quite busy already, even though it's only about half past nine. Right, this is called Club Indigo and last night we were in here till about half past 12 um, dancing and there was a disco in here so this is right at the front of the ship and you get great views of where we're heading at the moment there's not a lot to see other than sea but um, we've got lots of seating over there is a piano where the live band's on and over this side is the casino so I think it was quite busy last night um, Obviously not at the moment, but there's all the usual tables and then slot machines over here, but uh, electronic ones. We then have a spa, so you could have a massage, facials, hair done, acupuncture, all kinds of things in there. This is a gym. It's uh, got lots of equipment. There's quite a few people exercising already. And this is a pool deck over here shut at the moment but this is where you can buy ice cream from there are some uh, beach huts here on the left where you can sit and have your food from the snack shack which is down at the end and again this is closed at the moment because it's breakfast time but later in the day they start selling burgers uh, chips that kind of thing snack food and then over here on the right Again, the fridge is empty at the moment because it's breakfast time. But within this fridge, there's lots of things like sandwiches and salads and fruit pots and things like that. On this side, we've got the Beach Cove, which is another food outlet on the pool deck. So you can get some a snack and um, eat your food on the pool deck. Right, this is a marketplace, and this is where you can get buffet food. At the moment, it's set up for breakfast. Um, and there are actually at the moment three stations serving, two at the front and this one round the back, which is a lot quieter. I don't think a lot of people realise this one's here. I'll show you what we've got on offer. Selection of uh, fruit and cooked meats, some pastries, eggs and mushrooms, selection of bread and toast. Fruit and some Weetabix and other cereals, and then everything you'd expect from a cooked breakfast. What is really nice, which I think a lot of people haven't actually realised, is that you can bring your food out around the back here to this covered area to eat your breakfast, and it's really pleasant today because it's not too hot. There's a nice breeze because we're moving, and this is a great place to come and eat your breakfast, lunch or dinner. What is really handy is all the stairs on the ship are colour coded and there's maps everywhere. So the ones at the front are blue, the ones in the middle are red and the ones at the back are green. So if you look at the carpet, the carpet's red and that helps you find out where you are on the ship. Another really useful feature are these, which are interactive touch screens. So you touch them, they come to life and you can find out lots of information from these screens about what's going on the ship. This is a particularly useful one. It's called Cruise News. It tells you what's going on during the day so we can put the timetable up for today and find out all the activities that are going on. So just pick one off the top of top near the list. There's an acupuncture demo today with Dr. Mitlesh. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but press the home button down there at the bottom. Go back to the menu so you can find out the itinerary of what's going on the ship you can find out menus of all the so 
This is where we ate last night. We can view the menu for the tonight in the Italian restaurant, so it's really useful. This is one of the many bars on the ship. It's probably one of the biggest. It's called the Squid and Anchor. And this is where we were last night. Um, they had all of the bands on the ship came and did a kind of handoff with each other. It's quite amazing to watch. Um, there was a, at one point during one song, the drummers swapped out and you couldn't tell when one stopped and one started, they kind of shared the drums together. It was amazing, you know, quite a good night, we had a good dance. In the Squid and Anchor, you've got the main bar where all the all-inclusive um, drinks are included. And then they've got the speciality bar, there's a gin and whiskey bar, and some of these are on the premium menu. This is the coffee port. Um, it's a very big coffee shop. Um, the coffees aren't included on the all-inclusive, so you need to either pay for them individually or purchase the premium package. There are some nice cakes available, should you want them as well as the coffee. Right, here are the shops. Um, there's one over there, and it, uh, they surround the atrium, which is quite impressive. It comes over three stories. Over here we've got the video wall. There. We'll go down there in a minute, but it goes right down to reception, which is just under there, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. There's some more shops down on that level, and it's a really quite impressive area of the ship. More shops here, and because it's a sea day, all the shops are open. They can't be open when they're in port, but today's a sea day, which allows the shops to be open. I'm stood in a bar at the moment called the 19th Hole. So we've got the bar there where you can get your drinks from, but it's very golf themed. You can see by the checker carpet, and there's a, a golf buggy over here that you can sit in. Another one over there. Oh, there it is. But there's also, behind me, two golf simulators. And later on in the day, today, there's a longest drive competition. So you get a free try and you can win a uh, a competition for some spa treatment. This is the Broadway Show Lounge. Now, we came last night for a show, but it, uh, with it being the opening night, they were really more telling us about all the shows that are due to come. Um, but um, in here, it's uh, there's lots of tables by every seat, so you can bring your drinks in. And as you came in, there were drinks um, set out that you could just help yourself to. But uh, we're looking forward to the show tonight. Looks like it's a movie theme based on the change to set. You can see that the air is true, the love of Adam was there. And now the young is your Madame the Girl with Chapel Bell. Say, I'll be saying, yo, folks, it goes to show you never can tell. They had a hot We've come down a deck out of the Broadway show lounge and this is some of the shops that we saw from the upper deck. So I'll have to have a little wander through here. There we go. So we've reached the mid-level of the atrium. We're in a bar called Flutes. So over there is the bar. I've got a piano here where there's live music. There's the middle of the atrium. And the gimmick in here are these buttons that you can press to order a waiter service to bring you champagne and prosecco. Well, this is the bar called Aperitif. It's where you can have a pre-dinner drink before going into the main dining room. Or you can pay a premium to go into one of the premium dining experiences. And over there is an Asian restaurant called Coral R. And over this side, there's a surf and turf steakhouse 
Um, we've chosen not to do the premium dining experiences because there's plenty of choice in all the other restaurants for our tastes. Throughout the ship, you'll find these hand sanitizers. They're very conscious about making sure that there's no disease outbreaks. And so it's just a case of you stick your hand underneath and you get a squirt of sanitizer. And these are all around the ship. And this is the main dining room. So they have been serving breakfast. Not many people seem to come in here to have breakfast. They tend to choose the buffet that we saw earlier. But uh, we come into here for our evening meal because it's nice being waited on. But it's, uh, it's great for these lovely great big windows at the back. So you can see out, great, very light. And in the evening, they split into two. So on the left hand side, over there, um, you can choose to have Italian and on the right hand side over here uh, it's a standard menu but it's still very nice. So we're going down the stairs towards our cabin which was on deck four past the lifts there and through this corridor we I booked a cabin very close to the bottom of the stairs so it was handy so just down here and then on the left is our cabin which was cabin 4078 as we go in through the cabin door we'll see that the room is set out as a with a double bed but they can be changed to be two singles if you prefer them that way um, it was an outside cabin with quite a large window um, then if we turn around we've got a television and there's a fridge underneath um, on the left there are two wardrobes and space for clothes in the third one on shelves and then this is the bathroom so we've got here a sink toilet obviously and a really good shower so that's a quick look around the room right the final part of our tour um, we've got reception which is at the bottom of the atrium over this side we've got destination services where you can book excursions and you can find out what's going on in the ports of call and over this side is the probably the most expensive premium restaurant which is called the dining club apparently I've seen very good reviews of it um, so it might be worth trying out if you want to pay um, premium money for some good quality food I hope you enjoyed my tour of Morella Explorer 2 there are lots of little parts of the ship that I didn't include but I hope you have fun seeking them out if you decide to visit we certainly enjoyed our time on board and we'll be booking again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.